So I got brand new work wheels that I'm about to put on the Jeep. Uh, these are 10 and a halfs in the rear and nine and a halfs in the front. I already went ahead and did the fronts uh, just to have experience with the ceramic coating that I'm gonna talk about today on going ahead and how to put it on and apply it and my experience with it so far. Uh, I did a lot of re <clears throat> research on it and CarPro really has been around since the beginning. Uh, this one is made specifically for your wheels and it can handle up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit uh, temperature, which the other ones cannot. So let me see, let's get a little light on this so you guys can see it here. So I'm also gonna be putting it on the calipers, which I already did a little trial run just to see how it is. It was actually so good that I wiped on first and then afterwards I really, the, the third coat, I just, I didn't even wipe off. I just let it sit on there because it's just gonna be highly protected. So really the hardest part is just prepping the wheels. Once you get the wheels prepped, it's actually really, really easy. So it's kind of, when you see the videos out there online, um, the formula used by CarPro is very user-friendly. Uh, it's kind of intimidating, but it's really not. So when I first put it on these wheels, I went like one section at a time and split it into fours uh, because of how many intricate spaces there are on this wheel. And I did that because I was afraid that the product would flash too fast, but it doesn't. So you have enough time to do the entire wheel and then wipe it off and then apply as many coats as you want. So enough talking. I'll go ahead and uh, finish these two rear wheels and show you how it goes on and the results. So if you're curious on how much it is to get some ceramic uh, wheel protection, this is $40 and it's good for up to a year to two years depending on use. So it definitely works because even when I did the first uh, two wheels and the calipers, this has like become almost rock hard, this uh, application. Yeah, you can use the foam pad, but what I've done in my experience here is I find it easier to just take uh, a rubber glove, but I put two on because it kind of goes through one of the gloves and you can feel it on your finger. And then I just fold this over and rub wherever I want in between the wheels. So the prep that I actually use is there's lots of different preps that you see out there. Uh, the Iron X, um, also like Ipro alcohol, whatever it is. Um, I didn't use any of that. All I did is use polish. So I used some M205, which is liquid sandpaper. Uh, that was on the front of the, <clears throat> the wheels because they're clear coated. And then for the lips, same polish I've always been using. You can pick this up anywhere. It's actually one of the over-counter ones that actually work. The rest I really think is kind of garbage, mothers and all of it. The uh, Blue Magic. So this is what I've been using on my Motordyne exhaust to keep it looking perfect. And it, it works good. You just keep using it uh, coat after coat until it basically becomes super shiny. So those are the only two real preps that I used before putting it on. And uh, yeah, so if you have that, uh, that's the prep work you really need to do. Uh, you can take all your time making sure they're super clean and you won't have a problem at all putting the ceramic coat uh, on your wheels. Uh, ceramic coat, and it's just, just like with anything. When it's brand new, everybody acts like they're an expert. So if you, know, you haven't done it before, they wanna intimidate you with all these crazy steps that's necessary to make it perfect. But in reality, this is a wax and that's a lot harder and lasts longer, it comes off in a year. So this isn't even permanent. I mean, you can get into the price range. I had no idea how much ceramic coating is. It gets almost up to $1,000. Well, you can just pay for new paint, new clear coat paint at that point. So I'm not saying ceramic coating is bad or anything like that. I just, for $40 and how easy it goes on, I mean, this is almost easier than waxing. Honestly, it actually is because there's no white residue. So even if you mess up, it just you get like a little orange peel look, whoop de doo dah. I mean, it's gonna come off, so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put it on these two wheels and show you how I do the process. All right, so you're gonna take the, uh, the fluid here, which actually comes sealed and it has a date on the box to let you know how old it is because apparently if this stuff sits on the shelf too long, it goes bad. So I think once you open it, I believe you have about a six month uh, span before you have to use it before it, it, it kind of goes bad. So what the first thing you're gonna do is open it up and I just put a little bit on the corners here. So let's go ahead and do that. I put a shit ton on it because hell, I use a lot. I mean, look, there's still not much left, why not? I ain't gonna go white on it. I'm gonna use a bunch. Ugh. And then I'll put the cap back on immediately afterwards. I can feel it dripping through. So 
So I really just, I start with the, the lip, then I start with the front fascia, and then I start going in between all of these crevices, which is going to take forever, because this wheel, you know, the T37s, they are iconic, but they're as plain Jane as they get. It's just six spokes. This, call it a bird's nest or whatever you want. It's a work of art. This one's perfect, but that's on the eyes of the beholder, and that's why everybody has different tastes. So, work the world. Let's see here. And in the instructions it says, it, you should never go over the same area within this uh, one minute. So you better get what area you're working on done in one minute and then move on to the next. And some videos they were saying 10 minutes is all the longer you should be before you uh, wipe this stuff off. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. It takes about a minute for me to get it all on there, or four. And then I wait like, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. But then after I did the first coat, I, I tried waiting like 20 and it still came off. It's just real tacky. It just becomes real sticky, but it still like wipes off if you press hard on it. So I mean, hell, if you use M205 on the car, you can't even get it off by hand. You gotta actually get a polisher. So put that in perspective, that ceramic, you can wipe off by hand, but polish the professional grade, you can't. So what's that tell you? It's pretty easy. What I really like about these work wheels is this high gloss on the front of them. It's more than that. It's like they machined it to like shine or something. Like, look at that. And it's got like this gel on, t on the very front of the face. Like you can really see in person. So it's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to go left, right, up, down, whatever that shit is. It's just to make sure you don't miss a spot. I'm just getting the product on there is getting the product on there, gentlemen. Don't trigger blazer now. All right. uh, when I go to put um, after the lip and the front fascia, I actually put a little bit more on just to make sure, you know, there's plenty of product on. Especially if it only has a shelf life of six months or so, I'm going to try to use all of it. So I might, that's why I'm getting a little crazy. I might put like five coats on these wheels and wait for my tires to get in here, which I ordered. They should be here tomorrow. All right, it's been about five to seven minutes. Go ahead and just take a, a brand new microfiber towel and just wipe it off. It's very, very easy. Comes right off. And then once you get this all wiped off, you can go ahead and just apply as many coats as you really want. Um, I don't see why there's a limit, but I mean, maybe if you did like 10 or 20, it might like, I don't know, look like orange peel everywhere. I'm not sure, but I'll probably put five on here. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. So hope this helped you guys on uh, what product to pick. Uh, $40, you can have ceramic coat for your entire wheels um, or your calipers. And uh, CarPro makes uh, UK, I think it is 3.0. Um, that's the version they're on now currently, where you can use for your whole car. So this one's actually made for your, specifically for your wheels. So it's supposed to be a little thicker and harder. Um, the other one's made for your paint. And um, this one has obviously the heat coating in it because it's made for calipers too. So, because it can withstand up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video. I like these uh, kick-ass work wheels. I'm enjoying my little cleaning fest here. So I put five coats on. Uh, here's the final product. Put it on five coats on the calipers, also five coats on the wheels. Uh, really happy with the results. And if you look here, here's how much product I used out of all of it. So I tried to use up most of the bottle, which I pretty much did. There's a little bit left. So once these tires get uh, actually balanced, then I'm going to put the very last of it uh, on the inside of the um, wheel. So there should be enough there for that. And uh, yeah, so I hope this helped you guys, and good luck out there ceramic coating your wheels.